Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. And I just wanted to jump on and give you all an update as to how I'm doing, how the kids are doing. I do plan on jumping back on at some point tomorrow to channel into the weekend energies. But I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, the energies that I've kind of been sitting in. It's been this deep, dark void, almost like another layer of dark night of the soul energy, this death energy, this transformation energy. I've not been this low, this sick in many, many years. Um, the first two days of the week were very rough for me. I could barely get out of bed. I couldn't take care of my kids. I couldn't even barely take care of myself. And I had to really sit with a lot of heavy emotions too as I was purging all of these layers from the past that were arising, especially linked to the twin flame journey. I've been questioning uh, the journey in its entirety all this week, questioning why, why did I go through this awakening? Why was this person connected to this awakening journey? Why am I still here in this energy of not having that divine union? And um, a lot a lot of lower, lower energies coming up to be addressed, to be recognized, to be acknowledged, to be released. We had that full moon in Sagittarius. Normally I do a new moon ritual with setting intentions. I, all I could manage was to lay in bed and pray that we would all get better. It's been a really, really long week, guys. I apologize for not being on lately, uh, channeling messages, but... Um, Family comes first, and, and I know a lot of you do realize I'm a one-man show here. I, I do this all by myself. I raise two kids by myself. I run a household by myself. All of this is done one-man show, and so when I go down, the whole ship kind of has to go down with me. And so um, I do want to talk about this, though. Um, the divine masculine, the lack thereof, I guess we could say, because I know many of us have been struggling I've spoken to a lot of Divine Feminines recently, and it just seems like we make one step forward, three steps back, and there really doesn't seem to be any progression on the journey. I've questioned uh, Twin Flame in its entirety. I cannot deny the spiritual phenomenon that I have gone through over the last several years, or the activation of the Kundalini and the gifts, and I can't deny the energy of the catalyst that created this spiritual phenomenon, but what I've really had to sit with is I've been on this journey completely alone this entire time. I've received no communication. I do still believe the Divine Masculine is still playing house with the karmic. Um, they've been back and forth on Facebook, friends, not friends, friends, not friends. Um, definitely in some type of um, trauma bond of some sort over there, and I'm to this place where I've kind of lost hope that uh, from my own journey that that person is ever going to come forward and have accountability and do the right thing. I recently reconnected uh, with my karmic ex that I have my youngest daughter with and I thought maybe this guy's changed. It seemed like he was ready to kind of step up and and be, and be there uh, for the girls again and uh, that quickly faded away this week when I reached out for help. Um, the second I asked for some type of help, it was like poof, disappeared, right? And then I had to sit with this energy of accepting, hey, this person is who he is. He's never going to change. Never going to grow up. 46-year-old man baby that, you know, cries, I miss the kids, I miss the kids all the time. And I open up the doorway and the second I ask for help, he's got other things to do, right? He can help everybody but his kids and, and the mother of his kids. And so a lot of anger, a lot of bitterness came up uh, to be cleared uh, while I was in that very dark uh, spiritual state of delirium. And, and then the whole questioning of the journey. Do I believe in twin flame? Yes. I can't deny what I've gone through over the last several years. Do I believe these divine masculines have what it takes to stand up and do the honorable thing like a true masculine emperor would do? I really don't think they've got what it takes, to be honest. Um, and I know we're not supposed to speak negatively about this connection, but I'm at my breaking point is kind of where I'm at. I know I, I'm going to have some new ideas when it comes to moving the channel forward. 
I, I do apologize for not getting any zodiac signs out for anybody uh, for the month of uh, November. It is what it is. I've had a very full schedule with the expo, the craft show, clients, and then getting pummeled with this sickness and having to rearrange clients two weeks in a row. So if you are waiting to get rescheduled, I will be reaching out. I do apologize for the delay. I talk about it all the time in my channeled messages. Um, you can't fill another's cup unless you fill your own cup first. And so that definitely resonated with me this week. I can't fill any of your cups when I'm running on empty and uh, trying to fill my children's cups while we're all still trying to recover from this very nasty virus. And so please be patient with me. I do have a lot of messages I want to share with you that I journaled about um, over the last several days while I really couldn't do much of anything but lay in bed. Um, and I, and I'm excited to see where the channel is going to go moving forward. I'm, I am going to pull away from channeling divine masculine, uh, readings. I think it really doesn't matter what the divine masculines are up to because it ultimately is a journey of self for the divine feminine. And to be a divine feminine, you have to stand whole in your own being, whether they, they come forward or not. And so... I've actually got a, a really bitter hate on right now for the masculine collective in, in its entirety. Even the man that I've been casually dating for the last several months who, you know, had a tragedy a week ago, like last week, there was a tragedy. He, his brother had passed away suddenly. I offered my cup, my healing hands. I offered my time, my sympathy, my 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 love to this person and I fall sick and I get a text like, hey, let me know when you're feeling better so we can hang out. And I'm like, you know, a true masculine that wants to pursue somebody is going to be there for you. They're going to offer a helping hand. They're going to want to do everything they can to make your journey easier, not more difficult. And so what I've really come to realize is how selfish the entire masculine collective has really become. And it's very disheartening. And this is where I'm at, where what do I believe in at this point in time, right? Questioning my entire belief system again. Um, and I know it's temporary, and I know it's part of shedding these old layers when it comes to childhood trauma, ancestral trauma, and the fact that, you know, I've never ever really felt fully supported or even loved by any man that's ever touched me, that's ever been with me, that I've given my heart to, and to understand why, you know, especially when I'm in this place of self-love, self-value, honoring my boundaries, and I thought, this new guy, it was gonna be it, right? Um, everything on paper looked perfect when it comes to the astrology charts. Everything looked perfect. The energy really felt good. And then I got sick and, and I'm just being shown the lack of reciprocation at this point in time and, and kind of sitting at this divine why point myself as to which direction I'm going to uh, go in moving forward. And, and I know it's Thanksgiving uh, for my, my subscribers in the States, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Actually, my mother's in the States right now. She's getting ready to uh, shop till she drops tomorrow for Black Friday shopping. And, and so I just really wanted to thank you all for whoever stayed. I did notice I lost several subscribers over the last week with my lack of content being posted. But I still am in the process of filling my own cup. Um, I'm probably going to have to go lay down and have a nap after I post this video. But I just wanted to let you know I'm alive. I'm feeling so much better. My body is still kind of recovering from that state of um, shock that I was in, I guess, because uh, the pain in the cellular body was so great. And, and you know, it's been, it's been a mess around here with everybody getting sick all at the same time. But I do have to say Savannah is finally perking up, thankfully, thankfully. You can't even find uh, Tylenol anywhere here um, in Ontario. And so it was a rough touch and go uh, week with that spiking fever for several, several days. Um, and I do want to say thank you to all of you that reached out with well wishes, commented on my posts, uh, sent me private messages or emails. I appreciate 
every single one of you more than you realize. And so here's to hoping that this is it for the year and, uh, you know, we got sick. We're going to get it out of the way before all of the holidays. Um, and I do plan on jumping on tomorrow, like I said, and doing a weekend check-in. I will still be doing the Twin Flame forecast for the week ahead, but I think there's going to be a, a pulling away, a pulling apart, a focusing on anything that the Divine Masculine Collective is doing because it isn't serving you. It isn't serving me. And we do need to focus on us, right? And so I'm hoping to have the energy next week after rearranging my clients to start all of the zodiac signs again. So I'm hoping you will patiently wait for that. And I will start with Scorpio because we kind of missed out on uh, the Scorpio start off or Scorpio season because I didn't really do any zodiac signs for November. And, um, and we're going to just try and change things up a little bit. I'm still going to do the daily messages, but I've really been called to kind of slow it down a little bit and fill my own cup first. And that's kind of what I got guys. I, I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow and I thank you all. I love you all. And, um, I will see you all again next time. Thank you.